Hey guys, it's Nicole. I'm back with a new video. Obviously by the title, you can tell this is going to be my March plan with me. Right here, I left a little memo telling you what tools or what stationery I used for this theme. And also you can see my stickers and washi tape that I made that I'm going to be using for this theme as well. Um, they're not up for sale when you're watching this or when I upload it, but next week, first week of March, is when I'm relaunching a bunch of new sticker sheets because I recently got a Cricut for my birthday and yeah, I can now make sticker sheets instead of packs with individual stickers. So currently I'm just testing them and to make sure they're good to go for my store. Oh yeah, so you can tell my March theme is dinosaurs. And I did a poll on Instagram to see what theme I should do. It was between dinosaurs, an 80s theme, and houses. And I'm pretty sure dinosaurs won by like maybe two votes. And then the other two themes tied. Like it was really close. But I hope you guys like this theme. I really like how it turns out. I'll definitely still be doing houses and 80s theme sometime this year, like soon probably in the next few months. Not April, but probably after that. But yeah, I'll definitely be doing those themes, but this one is kind of cute. I don't think I've ever seen a dinosaur theme. They're probably It's probably being done, but I haven't seen it on Instagram or YouTube or anything. But yeah, the cover is a little bit different than my usual ones. I actually didn't use any brush lettering for this whole theme. Like I mostly used kind of this bubbly writing that you're seeing, which is really different for me. Cause even you can see on my Goodbye February page, even if it's not like cursive necessarily. I still do brush lettering, but I did not touch my brush markers other than Tombow's obviously, but that was just for coloring. So here's my monthly page. I used to do a full like two page huge calendar, but honestly I don't really use it and I find this uh, I don't even know what to call this type of page, but I just do a tiny calendar to see which days are where. And then I write down my events and goals. And I did this little like memo note thing for my events. And I really like how it turned out. I have a printable for March that's on my Etsy shop. It'll be linked in the description my Etsy shop but I also put a memo on my printable actually both of those two memos are on it and I just really love them I love doing those note memos now and the other one's supposed to be kind of you know how cavemen used to use kind of rock tablets that's what it's supposed to be but you can kind of tell when I actually color it but yeah, March is really an annoying month because it has technically it spans like six weeks. It has the first, like first and second in one week, and then the thirty-first and the sixth week. So that's super annoying. So I just kind of combined it so that my calendar wasn't weirdly shaped. And huge. Does anybody else have this problem with their? Tombos, well, I assume they're all the same. But some colors, like this brown that I'm using, they're, they don't turn out like one wash of color. If you go over it, it'll get like significantly darker. And this brown is especially bad. But I love this color, so I still use it. But yeah, you see me using my stickers there again. 
the washi tapes I don't know if I'm going to release I'm trying to perfect them so that they're the right size of like real washi which I haven't perfected yet but I'm working on it but I thought I'd definitely use those at least for my bullet journal and maybe release them I'm not sure but let me know if you guys would want washi tape stickers because personally I really like them because I don't want to buy a whole roll of one pattern it's kind of cool to get like a bunch of different patterns and I just love customizing my own because it's kind of hard to find the style of washi that I like I just like really cute and fun patterns so yeah I created some of those I think I might make more washi stickers just in random colors but yeah this is my mood tracker obviously it's dinosaur eggs if you couldn't tell and this is kind of similar to my candy hearts tracker in February but I honestly just really like filling these in each day it kind of makes me keep up with my bullet journal if it's kind of like a fun little illustration so I thought I'd kind of do something similar I really like how it turned out currently it is February 28th and it's Thursday which means I don't have any class today and so luckily I got to film this whole video which I think was like an hour and a half of footage that I trimmed down I edited the whole video and now I'm doing my voiceover and it's about 6 p.m. a little bit before 6 p.m. so it's been a pretty productive day which is good considering I didn't get to upload a video last week because I was actually on my winter break so I was at home didn't want to bring all my camera and stuff and I'm not sure what to film next I'm thinking like my favorite bullet journal supplies because people have said that would be cool but I'll have to see and this month again I'm doing productivity tracker. I did this last month where I would rate it at 1 to 5 and then write what I did that day that was productive but as the month went on it kind of got repetitive and just kind of annoying <laughs> to write down what I did each day especially since I kind of do that in my normal weeklies. I kind of write what I did so I thought I would do more of um, like a bar graph type of thing and just rate myself one to five how productive I felt and color it in with I don't know I'll probably do orange or the light green that I've been using <laughs> yeah my stickers have I think they look pretty cute with this theme it's hard to match the colors that I was planning on using, like the Tombow colors, I was trying to match them in Procreate when I was drawing my stickers and washi tape so that they'd match my theme perfectly. I feel like I did pretty well. I think, yeah, they match enough to not notice. So that's good. And this weekly, I love how this weekly turned out. It's actually really simple when you think about it, but it looks really nice, I think. And this was totally inspired by my friend on Instagram, Ellen. Her Instagram is Elz Doodles, E-L-Z Doodles. She did like a rainbow version, so I just kind of changed it up a little bit. But I really love how this weekly turned out. I also really like these colors. I'm not like the biggest green fan, 
but if I'm doing dinosaurs, I felt like green was the color to go with, and I'm really glad I did, because I think it looks really good with the orange. Orange is my favorite color. And also, that orange grid tape that I use, the actual washi tape roll that I've been using for this theme, that's literally my favorite washi tape. I'm pretty sure I said this in my last video. How I don't want to use it so that I don't run out. <laughs> but it was too perfect for this theme. So I kind of had to. But yeah, I tried out a different format of weekly. I don't think I've ever done, maybe I've done something kind of similar, but not really. And I got inspired by Kayla, my friend Kayla. On Instagram, she's at Bujo Kayla. And she did the black and white theme, or black and white weekly, I guess, with this kind of layout. So I totally got inspired by her. And I think it works out really well. Cause it left a lot of room around for like decoration and drawing and stuff. And I kind of did like a little list. But also I have tons of room to write. Because in my weeklies recently I've been doing my regular kind of to-do list, like tasks. And then at the end of the day, or the next day usually, I'll write kind of like the highlights of the day I guess, or just what I did. So yeah, that leaves a lot of space for that. Did another one of those little memo things, which I think are really fun. And I've been trying to use more of markers instead of my Pigma Micron pens. Like for example, this whole outline of the weekly is orange. And a lot of my lettering well, not really, actually, now that I think about it. But I've been trying to not, like, draw everything in black and then color it. So I kind of tried to do that this month. I guess I have a few more weeklies to do. I was thinking of possibly putting up another video in March. Because I don't do every single spread in the, this plan with me just because I think it would be a really long video if I did like four weekly spreads and everything and like a favorites I'm trying to do a favorites this month hopefully that ends up happening and like the goodbye page but I'm thinking of maybe uploading a second little probably shorter plan with me just like finishing the month that would probably be in a couple weeks, I guess, when I actually need the spreads. Yeah, I drew this little dinosaur, and he turned out really cute. And he's just saying it will be okay. Which I thought, I don't know, it just looks really cute. I've never been, like, super into dinosaurs. But I tried drawing them in Procreate. Like, just little doodles. And I really liked how they turned out. And I got... A ton of messages, like DMs on Instagram, of people saying they really like them. So I really hope you do. Now I'm just doing a little flip through. You can see how all the spreads turned out. And yeah, if you have any recommendations for what you want to see, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.